Hi. Uh, this second and last presentation concerning memory hierarchies addresses uh, cache systems in general. After watching this presentation and concluding the uh, two learning tasks proposed at the end, you will be able to explain uh, what is memory hierarchy and cache memory, their key concepts, and also to uh, differentiate the technical features of successive cache levels, and finally to uh, list and summarize the most common cache optimization techniques. Computers need an ever-increasing amount of memory, but uh, faster memory technologies cost more. So there's a need to combine uh, speed and size when designing the uh, memory system of any of the five classes of computers that we looked at earlier. The uh, principle of locality plays a key role in this trade-off and states that uh, a program only accesses a small part of its address space at any given time. Uh, this principle is actually valid both in time and in space. Uh, temporal locality states that a data item used at any given moment will tend to be reused again in soon. And uh, spatial locality states that the next data item is probably located closely to the one that has just been used. So uh, we can speed up the execution of a, of a program if the CPU accesses a uh, faster and smaller cache memory instead of accessing the uh, slower and larger main memory. Well, uh, traditionally caches are seen as the uh, levels of memory between the processor and its main memory, but we can use this term to refer to any storage that is used to take advantage of the principle of locality. The uh, fraction of the uh, memory access cycles that successfully find their data in the cache is called the hit rate. And likewise, the miss rate represents the uh, fraction of memory access cycles where the uh, data item was not found in the cache and has yet to be fetched it from the main memory. I let it up to you to uh, define what is hit time and miss penalty, for example. Uh, the authors of the book we are following uh, also published another book called uh, Computer Organization and Design, uh, where you can find a, a very useful introduction to these subjects in uh, Chapter 5. Well, this uh, diagram shows the typical memory hierarchy for a, a laptop or desktop computer where uh, three cache levels are normally used. Uh, notice the differences in uh, size and speed as we go uh, from registers inside the CPU down to the uh, main storage medium, which uh, in this case is flash memory. Uh, you may pause this video now and try to answer the following question. How would this diagram be modified if we were talking about a personal mobile device or a, a server, for example. And since we are talking about cache levels, uh, I thought that it would be interesting to show you this table that is included in uh, Annex B of our book. Um, it's a pretty general classification, but it's very useful to understand the uh, technical differences between the uh, various cache levels. There's no point in reading this table for you now, but you may consider pausing the video once again and uh, checking for yourself the differences from left to right as we move uh, farther away from the uh, CPU. Well, uh, the book that we are following presents two groups of cache optimization techniques called uh, basic and advanced. We cannot go into much further detail in this course, so I leave you here with the uh, six basic techniques that are described in pages uh, 82 and 83 and in Annex uh, B3. 
please try to describe in your own words why you think that each of them can improve uh, cash performance. And now for the learning tasks. Uh, memory technology is an important issue to design cache systems. So here's a proposed learning, learning task number one. Uh, go through section 2.2 .2 of the book and prepare a summary describing the technologies used in a memory hierarchy. And uh, if you feel like learning a bit more about cache optimization techniques, you might read section 2.3 and, and then try to fill in the table shown uh, in figure 2.18 by yourself, showing how each of those uh, 10 advanced uh, techniques affect, uh, affects the various metrics considered. And that's it for now. Thanks very much for your attention.